Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this big triangle ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that this angle C is uh, 127 degrees. And moreover, this line segment AE equals to this line segment DE, and this uh, line segment EB equal to this uh, line segment EF. And now we are going to calculate this angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Before we proceed any further, let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's go ahead and label the angles. Let me label this angle A as angle alpha and angle B as this angle beta. And now let's focus on this big triangle ABC. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem. Exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this uh, diagram and here C is uh, an exterior angle and this uh, A and B are opposite uh, interior angles such that C equals to A plus B. So therefore in our case uh, this angle 127 degrees is our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles alpha and beta. So therefore we can write alpha plus angle beta is going to be equal to 127 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle ADE and we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this side uh, equals to this side. So therefore if this angle is alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well. And now let's recall triangle sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore in this triangle ADE the sum of these three interior angles must be 180 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 180 degrees minus 2 alpha. And now let's focus on this other triangle BFE and we know that this is an isosceles triangle as well since this side length equal to this side length. So therefore if this angle is beta this angle has got to be beta as well. And now let's recall this triangle sum theorem once again according to this theorem the sum of these three angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be equal to 180 degrees minus 2 beta. And now let's focus on this uh, straight angle going from here all the way to here. This angle is always equal to 180 degrees and that is going to be the sum of these three individual angles. Therefore let me go ahead and write down this angle first 180 degrees minus 2 alpha and then angle x plus 180 degrees minus 2 beta equals to 180 degrees. And now we can see that this 180 degrees and this 180 degrees this is gone. And now we are going to isolate this x. So therefore I'm going to move this negative 2 alpha 180 degrees and negative 2 beta on the right hand side. So therefore we got x equal to 2 alpha plus 2 beta minus 180 degrees. And now we can see there's a 2 is in common between first two terms. So I can factor out 2 outside. So we got alpha plus beta minus 180 
degrees but we know that alpha plus beta equals to 127 degrees that we figured out in our previous step so therefore i'm going to replace this alpha plus beta by 127 degrees so therefore we got uh, 2 times uh, 127 degrees minus uh, 180 degrees if you multiply 2 times 127 degrees that's going to give us 254 degrees minus uh, 180 degrees and that is going to give us simply 70 Four degrees so therefore our angle X uh, turns out to be 74 degrees and here's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye